Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Scum's Garage. Now, as you know, I am a new owner of a 3000 GT VR4 Spider, And as you know, these cars are not without any kind of issue. And today we are going to address one of the issues. So one of the issues here is, should be an easy fix, which are the wheel stud. So I, when I got the car, the wheel stud was either stripped or shaved off. And I'm going to go ahead and replace these it's so one of these two stuff. We're gonna just take the wheel off first and find out what they are. Okay, as you can see, this one has been shaved off. And this one is just all mushroom, mush, squeeze. Well, these two are gonna have to get replaced. Pull in this nut out. Followed by the caliper, which are a 17 millimeter bolt. So this is a 12. Let's go ahead and get that out the way. So here are the bolts, one right here, and the other one is right down here. Uh, let's see here. Let this sit uh, on top of here, and that'll be fine right there. Okay. Now if you're looking right here, I don't know if I have that clearance or not. It's hitting here really don't want to cut into this if I don't have to um, and I don't know if I want to take the hub off but might don't I probably don't have a choice but to take the hub off yeah I'm pretty sure if it comes back it's gonna hit this 100% it's gonna hit that so I think the hub has to come off so let's go ahead and take this hub off or to do so we gotta take this cotter pin out this castle has to come off you got four bolts back here one two and then two on the other side all right um i'm gonna go ahead and just get these loose Two that I'm replacing. Go ahead and just knock that out. Okay, yeah. It definitely ain't gonna come out. That's where it hits. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just get those two loose and then pull out the hub later. Loose, that's loose. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on backward and hit this axle in so that it pops out. Okay, that's good enough. As you can see, the axle is loose. I can move it in and out. Oh, another thing is that I wanted to mention was that the axle is bad on here too. As you can see, there's a bunch of grease. 
from the axle itself. So this is gonna be replaced. That will be in another video. Go ahead and remove this dust shield too. I don't know if I need to, but I'm going to remove it anyway. Where's the other one? Oh. All the way down here. Let that it sit there. I just realized that the bolt to the shock strut has to come out too, so that's gonna have to come out. It's looking like this tie rod has to come out too. Let's go ahead and get to it. These things are bent. Come on, man. What is that, a 19 or something? And it is. All right, so. This castle nut, put it back in reverse, and just like so. Then we can hit it with a hammer. Okay. And the threads are still good and the thread is still good. You gotta be careful with this though, the way you the way this is done. Unless you get a um, a tie rod puller, then that'll be a lot easier. Okay, now we can go ahead and uh. hopefully I can just turn it. Yep. I completely removed the axle it was really in the way and what I did was then I could finally get get to these bolts these four bolts they are 17 millimeter and I loosened all of it up left the uh, the bolt on like that the nut on like that and then I hit it with a hammer evenly on each side until it popped out a little bit right here and now you can see that I can go ahead and, you don't have to remove it all the way, but you can just go ahead and remove your wheel stud now. Just like so. And these are the new ones. I did get them from Mitsubishi. I do have two of these. There's one. And where's the other one at? Right here. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is go ahead and put everything back in, and then we'll start the the procedure of how to push this in.
Okay, so everything else is reverse order. Just put it back the way you took it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and start these things. I got myself a bag of nuts and lug nuts right here too. This is this is an old lug nut. It is a 12 by one and a half. I forgot to mention that these bolt, these wheel studs are M12 by one and a half and they do fit. See, this is this came off a, actually a Toyota Tacoma, this lug. So that should fit and that works too. So this is what I'm gonna use. But yeah, let's turn that that way. Put one of these on. Put this in. You want to do it by hand first, just to get it started so that it goes in evenly. All right. Now you can do this one or two ways. You can use, you can manually just turn it, but you'll need some kind of pry bar to help hold it so it doesn't turn. Or you can just go ahead and zip it off or zip it in with an impact. I'll go ahead and I'll do both ways. So what you do is just keep turning into it becomes flush with the back wall and I actually find it easier if you use an impact to take this out or you can use the impact from the start and you know save yourself some time There's that back wall, it's flush. Now let's finish this one up too. All right, let's get some torque spec in. So this castle nut right here for the tie rod, the outer tie rod, it is, I believe, 21 foot pounds. And as for the two nuts right here that hold the shock strut, those are about 70 foot pounds. And these two bolts back here get 76 foot pounds. All right, and this big giant bad boy right here, this big axle nut, it is 166 foot pounds. Hey guys, so that's the conclusion of the video. Um, if you are an owner of one of these cars and you done it differently, uh, let me know in the comment below. Uh, if you think I should do it differently, let me know in the comment below. 
Uh, I did not expect this job to take this long to do. It actually took me about three and a half hours with recording. But uh, yeah, it's done now. Um, also, there is a problem with the axle, which I am going to replace. Uh, I do have it on order. Uh, it will be in another video. And if you do like the video, smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time.